Canadian medical system, what it's been like for certain people. So this is a horrifying experience this person had to death. This young woman. Oh, shocked when we saw this video. It's We're showing it now if you happen to be a Blaze TV subscriber. Um, but it is, I, I mean, it's horrific. Where, what, Pretty despicable. Despicable. So she was sitting off to the side, kind of all by herself. Had she just arrived at the hospital? Had she been there for a while? What, what's the story? So she had been um, uh, in the hospital two weeks prior, uh, or rather, sorry, had been released. That's just her dead a, body a being rolled prior. off. They killed she had her. an underlying lung disease and had contracted COVID. So she was one of those folks who, who got quite unwell. She recovered. She had tested negative and was released. Within a couple of days, some of those lingering symptoms seemed to exacerbate. So she returned to hospital on May 10th, was there in the evening, you know, had a productive cough and had some obvious uh, struggling uh, with breath. So she had been in the ER um, and, you know, she'd been in the ER for about 20 or odd, so or odd hours, Jeez. was admitted. Yeah, <laughs> she had, was admitted. So she was brought uh, to the floor at 6 a.m. Now, my understanding is, although she was known to be COVID negative, because she had similar symptoms, she was placed on the COVID floor. So oh, she's, right. you know, on the, yeah, on the floor at 6 a.m. and asks for food. They don't have anything. So she decides, of course, it's a basic need. You're hungry. So she thinks that she's going to find something at the food court. So she makes her way to the food court with her mask on following whatever policies they had. And she becomes, of course, very unwell, as you can see in the video, without breath and sits in a corner to try to get her breath, you know, as if um, anyone else would do if you can't breathe. She removed the mask because it was an obstruction. And that's where, um, you know, things pick now, up, as you said, no that it was identified that she, she didn't have her mask clean. on. It was below her chin. And uh, within minutes, um, if security shows up on site, they, uh, you know, grip her, crush her into a wall, um, and then there's a restraint and surprise. An unwell, petite, frail woman goes into respiratory distress, uh, sorry, cardiac arrest, and um, as you see in the video, she is carted down a hallway like garbage. I, I, it, I have to tell you, the, the disrespect for... A, a a dead body it was was so shocking uh, to me. I mean, she was practically dragged down the hall um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, when she was. Uh, I'll leave a link and you can see the rest of it. I normally don't even watch Glenn Beck, but I caught this a week and a half ago, and I have to share it because our hospital system here in Canada is just crappy. And our security guards are like fucking vicious dogs with rabies. This isn't a nice lady event.